Thursday, May 4th. And for our phonics lesson today, we're going to be practicing syllables. And then after that, it will be followed with our decodable book. So get your hands ready. We're going to be clapping. We're going to do three practices. You'll do those with me. So the first one is the word huge, which goes along with our long U. Huge. Clap huge with me. Huge. That was one clap. Just one. Okay. How about the next one is argue. Another U word. Argue has two. And our last practice is computer. Clap that with me. Computer. Three. Now we're going to go through a group of words, and I want you to try and hold up the answer before I do and see if you can guess it. The first word is refuse. Clap it. If you're holding up two, that is correct. Refuse has two. How about invite? Clap it. Two. Invite has two syllables. Cute. One. Cute has just one. How about continue? Continue. If you're holding up three, that is correct. Continue has three syllables. Next is parade. Two. Parade has two. Globe. One. Globe is just one. And we have two more. How about museum? Museum. Three. Museum has three syllables. And the last one, rescue. Rescue has two. Rescue. Now when you're doing this, you can do it with me and then follow up with the Word document. Or you can even have the Word document in front of you and then go back and do this again with me because these words will also be on your Word document for today, for Thursday, May 7th. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and we are going to turn to our decodable book. So you can go ahead and pause the tape now and go get your little decodable book. It's a little black and white one and it should say on it this title. Use a mule. See if you can find the one that says use a mule. Because of course this week we are working on our long U. So take a look at our photo on the front. What do you think it's about? We see a person who is riding on some kind of a carriage and in front of him is a picture of a mule. So clearly this is not a real story. This is fiction. We can tell by the illustrations they are not real photos. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn to the very first page and we are reviewing our high frequency words saw, and this, and over here our long U is flute, glue, and cube. And those are all long U words. So we have use a mule. And now we're going to go ahead and go through and read it. Ned can make a home. Ned can use logs. This is my mule, said Ned. Cute Kate can tug logs. Hmm, I wonder who, cu who Cute Kate is. Do you think it's the name of the donkey? Let's see. Ned and Cute Kate made a home. Cute Kate can tug a lot. She made 10 lines. So since we see the mule is the one in front pulling and making the lines, we can infer that cute Kate is the name of the donkey. 
Ned saw the lake. I can use this. Ned cut a big cube. Cute Kate can tug it. This is a fine home. This is a fine mule. So together they build their home, the log cabin. Let's go through these words around the long U and the picture of the cube. Long U. Cube. Cute. Mule. Use. Can. All right, we're going to go back through the story, and I want you to be thinking about what can the mule do? That is what you're trying to answer. What are some things that the mule, cute Kate, can do? Let's take a look on this first page. Ned can make a home. Ned can use logs. That doesn't tell us anything about the donkey yet, the mule. This is my mule, said Ned. Cute Kate can. What can cute Kate do? Tug logs. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and underline that. Tug logs. If you want to underline that in your book right now, you can turn to page three and do it with me. Let's take a look at the next page. What else can cute Kate do? The mule. Ned and cute Kate made a home. Cute Kate can tug a lot. She made 10 lines. So take your pencil and let's underline. Cute Kate can tug a lot. That is the second thing that we see that she can do. Let's go on to the next page. She may. What else can she do? Ned saw the lake. I can use this. Ned cut a big cube. Cute Kate can tug it. Go ahead and underline tug it because that is one other thing that she can do. And those are all of the things that Cute Kate the mule can do. Now I want you to take a look again and review these long U words. And I would like you to go back through your book and I want you to find all of these long U words and I want you to circle them. So for instance, if I look over here on this page, I see the word mule. That is a long U word, so I can circle it. So you can go all the way through the story and find all of the long U words. Then it says, can you find these words in the book? You can use your yellow crayon to highlight the sight words saw in this. When you would do this with me in the classroom, you would just point to it. But now here, you can actually highlight it. So right here, we see the word this. You can go ahead and highlight it here and here. It's a lot of fun. We can actually write in the book. And that concludes our decodable book and our syllable practice for today, Thursday, May 4th. So have fun going through your book, circling those long U words, and highlighting any and all sight words. That's it for now. I will see you next time. Have a very happy Thursday. Bye-bye.